He's Han Lu, a key figure of the Church of Almighty God. And this person's name is Chi Min. She and Han Lu interact frequently. She's quite possibly a key figure of the Church, too. They're who we want to arrest. All 11 of them. That's it. Watch them closely. All of you. Don't let them escape. Do you hear? So, this case is important to the higher-ups. Let's get this right. Yes, yes sir. Chief Ho! Chief, Chief Ho is here. Please sit. Well, are you ready? Ready, sir. We start at 1500 hours. We'll bring them to the hotel for interrogation. Uh -huh. Good. You've all been working hard these days. That's, That's our, our duty, duty sir. sir. Comrades. You know, Central Committee has issued secret documents ordering the governments to ban Eastern Lightning as soon as possible. We can imagine how much the Central Leadership hates the Church of Almighty God. They can hardly wait to ban the Church of Almighty God. So Central's slogan is, the troops stay until the ban is done. Now, the Church of Almighty God has grown overseas and has been established in many countries. Even foreigners are accepting Almighty God, which the central leadership has noted. And the central leadership is nervous about this around the clock. We have to understand how leaders feel. Comrades, the current situation is very serious. So our Bureau has set up a task force composed of national security criminal investigation, and law enforcement to ban the Church of Almighty God from our jurisdiction. We have monitored, tracked, and investigated, and now know that this one, Han Lu, and some others are the core of the Church. Now, the time is ripe. I hope our task force will be carefully organized and coordinated to eradicate these people and ensure that this action is successful. Yes, yes sir. sir. You've been here long? Just got here. Oh. There's too many people here. Let's talk after going back. Let's go. Because you believe in God. There's no law against believing in God. Huh. In China, faith in God is against the law. We are arresting believers of God. Take him away. Move. 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 Ah. Get up. Move. Auntie. Move. Have you no decency? Don't get smart. Go. <laughs> Almighty God. Please give me confidence and strength. No matter how they torture me, I'm willing to stand firmly to witness for you. Captain Chen, two SIM cards. Check them. Okay. Captain Chen?
Looks like you're a leader of the Church of Almighty God. Tell me, what's your name? Where do you live? Answer the questions! You think we won't know if you don't talk? You know, we've been watching you for a long time. You're Han Lu, right? What is your rank in the church? Who are the two women you were with? Their names? What do they do? Don't want to talk? Hmm. We'll make you talk. Tight lips. Uh, uh. Captain Chen? Captain, Captain Chen. Chen? Chief, look. This may be the church's money figure. Well, this is a major clue. Seize on this clue for shock interrogation. Be sure to find this money. Of course, Chief. Okay. Hey, Lao Ma. Hmm? Assemble a team right away. Hmm. Check this list of names and phone numbers. Each and every one. Sure. Let's get all of these people here. Okay. God, my notebook was seized by the police. The names of some brothers and sisters are written in it. I don't know what will happen. God, I was too careless. Captain Ma, Captain Chen. Hmm. Let her sit. Han Lu, here is a chance for you to score some points. As long as you tell us who your leaders are and where your church's money is stashed, we'll go easy on you. Of course, if you do well, it's not out of the question that we let you go. Hmm. According to this notebook, the figure of the church's money is written there. It certifies that you are a church leader. How much money does the church have? Where is it kept? Who are your higher-ups? Come on, talk. We believers of God do not break the law or commit crimes. What right do you have to interrogate me like a criminal? We preach the gospel in order to bring people to God and let them receive the truth, be able to get rid of sins for God's salvation and enter beautiful destination. These are good and righteous deeds. We believers of God have not violated any law. What do you want me to explain? The Constitution provides for freedom of belief. Why don't you act according to it? You interrogate me for who my leaders are and how much money the church has. For what purpose? Is that legal? Wow. You want to drop the Constitution on us. Was the Constitution written for you? Are you qualified to talk about the Constitution? Under the reign of the Communist Party, the Communist Party is the boss. The Communist Party is atheist and against those who believe. Your belief in God is a violation of the party's law, a violation of its taboo. So the Communist Party will crack down on it. Once we capture you, believers of God, we will fix you up and interrogate you whatever way we want. That's the prerogative of the Party Central Committee to us. Particularly, you key figures of the Church of Almighty God. You deserve severe punishment, and that includes death. That is the Communist Party's policy. The Communist Party's policy is the real law. What about the Constitution? It is a tool to serve the rule of the Communist Party. Do you understand that?
The Constitution is a country's basic law. Government officials all over the world act in accordance with the Constitution to govern. The Chinese Communist government openly tramples the Constitution. In your own words, you said that above the Constitution is the real law of the party. How many sets of laws do you have? If the Chinese government has other laws behind the Constitution, doesn't that prove power is greater than the law in communist state? The Constitution devised by the government is not intended for Chinese citizens. Even the government itself is not bound by it. What's the use of the Constitution after all? What's the point? After living in China for decades, you still haven't figured this out? The Communist Party is an atheistic revolutionary party. Why is it so against believers in God? It's because the Communist Party is most inimical to the Bible, inimical to God's word. When the Communist Party ascends to power, it will ban and eliminate all religions and establish a godless domain that will ensure its permanent rule in China. This is the policy of the Communist Party in dealing with religions. Religious freedom mentioned in the Constitution is only a display for foreigners, a political means to consolidate the regime's political power and enhance its international influence. So, long as the communists are in power in China, don't even dream of having religious freedom. If you stubbornly follow your belief in God, you are courting death. Even if you do not face the firing squad, you will rot and die in prison. Do you understand now? You need more explanations? China is the Communist Party's world. When you are born in China, you have to listen to the party. You have to conform to have a peaceful life. You want to believe in God? No way. Even if you flee overseas to believe in God, we will get you back. Listen. The Communist Party is revolutionary. If you defy the Communist Party's leadership, then the Communist Party will take your life, chop your head off. I advise you to act sensibly and cooperate with us nicely. The alternative is just a dead end. You best be clear about this. I just don't understand why the Communist Party has to suppress religious beliefs. Why are Christians being treated as criminals of the state? Why the repression and persecution, even torture and death? This does not pass the scrutiny of international law. Those who believe in God magnify and revere God. They pursue the truth and live by the word of God. They're law-abiding citizens who lead the correct path of life. <laughs> Why does the Communist Party regard those who believe in God as thorns in their side and as real implacable enemies? that cannot coexist with it. Does it mean the communist government wants people to follow depraved evil ways and forbids them the right path? No wonder the Chinese society is getting increasingly darker and more evil. Isn't this because of the communist party's attack on the truth and on justice and its antagonization of God? Almighty God says the rise and fall of a country or nation is predicated upon whether or not its rulers worship God, and whether or not they lead their people closer to God and to worship Him. God shall bring prosperity to those who follow and worship Him, and bring decline and extinction upon those who defy and reject Him. An Lu, it seems that you really understand the Communist Party. I admit, the Communist Party has been doing bad things since the beginning. It has now provoked the people's resistance. But what are people in the eyes of the Communist Party? The Communist Party does not care. I tell you the truth today. The Communist Party is a satanic party, a satanic cult that opposes God. Marx, Lenin, Stalin, and Mao Zedong were satanic cult leaders. They were sworn enemies of God who acted against him it is useless for anyone to oppose or to hate the Communist Party. 
The Communist Party has tanks and machine guns. We will repress and destroy anyone who opposes the party. The Communist Party is atheist. All you believers of God are theist. The Communist Party and believers of God are simply enemies. What's going on here is a deadly class struggle of opposing ideologies. You get that? You should also know that the Communist Party's faith is facing a serious crisis. No one believes in the theory of communism anymore. In the hearts, most Chinese recognize God exists. They all recognize fate and retribution. So more and more people believe in God. Tell me, how can the Communist Party not repress you? In order to hold its political power, the party will do anything, even at the expense of launching wars and massacring mankind. The Communist Party is able to do this. Who can stop it? The Communist Party indeed has the ability to repress and kill, but is there no retribution? The Roman government condemned and opposed the work of the Lord Jesus and brutally captured and killed Christians. God sent down the plague and destroyed the Roman regime. The Israelites resisted, condemned, and finally crucified the Lord Jesus. God made Israel not exist for nearly 2,000 years. From past until now, haven't all those who acted against God been destroyed by God? People often say that human beings are very insignificant in front of nature. Aren't humans even more insignificant in front of the Creator? Good begets good, evil begets evil. That is a fact no one can deny. The existence of Heaven's law is the fact of God's dominance. Even if you don't recognize God, shouldn't you admit retribution? You. Hey, Captain. Listen, Hanlu. To tell you the truth, it's not that we don't understand people who believe in God. I have some friends who believe in God. I know that those who believe in God are good people. Don't do evil. So then why does the Communist Party want you? It is because your Church of Almighty God is growing too fast. Its impact is growing too. You still keep spreading the word of Almighty God, shocking religious communities. Will the Communist Party not repress and restrict you? Huh? Do you know what the May 28th Shandong Zhoyan case is about? It was the Communist Party's clear signal to the whole world that it wanted to ban and destroy the Church of Almighty God. And it also proclaimed the slogan, the troops stay until the ban is done. What does this show? It shows that the central leadership has determined to completely ban and eliminate all the underground churches, especially your Church of Almighty God. After the public trial of the Shandong Zhoyan case, Although many people have raised all kinds of questions about the Shandong Zhoyan case, saying that this case was most likely phony and fabricated intentionally by the Communist Party to frame and smear the Church of Almighty God. Nevertheless, this case went to court and was heard in a public trial. The news media also followed up with a report. No matter how much you doubt and deny the May 28th Shandong Zhoyan case, it is useless. When the Communist Party can say and do so, there will be many who believe it. Although lies and violence are not positive things, they are effective. Wouldn't you agree? Captain Ma, this Shandong Xiaon case can only fool people for a short while. Lies cannot last long. Sooner or later, the truth will be revealed. When the CCP suppresses religion, ethnic minorities, university students, it always fabricates some unjust cases first. This is to manipulate public opinion to help achieve its goal. Who doesn't know that China's courts and media are fully controlled by the Chinese Communist Party? There is no self-determination. 
The CCP's court is the machinery that maintains the dictatorship of the Communist Party. The news media is the mouthpiece and instrument of the Chinese Communist Party, trumpeters that create lies for the government to confuse the people and deceive the world. This is a simple fact. The Shandong Zion case is riddled with doubts. When the court was hearing the Shandong Zion case, the perpetrator stated in court, Zhang Fan and I are the only spokespeople for the true Almighty God. The state is cracking down on the Almighty God that Zhao Weishan believes in, not the Almighty God that we believe in. I never had contact with the Church of Almighty God. They repeated that they were not members of the Church of Almighty God. The puzzling part was that the Chinese communist judge even ignored the defendant's statements and ruled in full view that they were all people of the Church of Almighty God. What was the problem? The communist court distorted facts, framed and smeared the church, and disregarded the law by blaming this murder on the Church of Almighty God. The communist government then used the media for a high-profile report on the case. The discerning can see that this was another false case carefully crafted by the CCP. What was the purpose of the CCP in doing so? Smart people can see that this was a fabrication of public opinion to suppress and persecute the Church of Almighty God. If the Shandong Xiaoyuan case is false, so what? In order to suppress the Church of Almighty God, the Chinese Communist Party used propaganda created public opinion, and got some results. The Chinese Communist Party has a megaphone. The media, radio stations, and newspapers are the tools of the Communist Party. You may be right, but it's useless. The Communist Party says, a lie becomes the truth if repeated 10,000 times. You mean you don't know that? What the Communist Party uses to rule the people are made up lies and revolutionary violence. This is a political necessity. As Chairman Mao said, it's not a conspiracy, it is an open plot. Lies and deceptions, the end justifies the means. That's how the Communist Party gets things done. You get that? Do you think that you can confuse and deceive the Chinese people and the world with lies? I don't think so. Lies can confuse and deceive people for a little while, but not for very long. Sooner or later, the truth will be completely clear. Saying a lie will become the truth if it's repeated 10,000 times is not credible. I can't see a lie becoming true, even if it's been repeated 10,000 times or more. Ultimately, lies will be revealed and dispelled. Lies can never stand on their own. The actions of the Communist Party fully confirm the words in the Bible. You are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and stayed not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. The devil is the father of liars. Only the devil will wantonly lie and deceive. Shut up! How dare you? Captain Ma, Captain Chen, if we don't get serious with her, she won't come clean. You really don't know what time it is. You want it the hard way. Take her! <laughs> well there. Does it feel good? Hmm. You think you can tough it out? And we have no way to fix you? We have orders from the Central Committee to ban the Church of Almighty God. No matter how you people of the Church of Almighty God are treated, it is never too much. Killing someone like you is nothing. Once you're dead, we will simply ship you to the crematorium and get rid of you there. Or we can send you to the brick kiln, grind you into meat sauce with the brick machine. Hmm. Believers in Almighty God are tough. Come, 
Let her play swings. Let her have some real fun. Are you going to talk? Say it! Say it. MZ, what does it stand for? Where did you put the 100,000 yuan? Where is it? Continue. Captain, she's been hanging there all this time, you see. Ah. Take her down. When we get our hands on you, not even God can save you. Think about it carefully. If you do not talk, you won't leave here alive. Both of you. Watch her. No eating, no sleeping. Okay. okay. Let's see how tough she is. Damn it. Get up. Move. <laughs> Don't get smart with me. Forefathers of the ancient, beloved leaders, they all oppose God. Their meddling has left all beneath heaven in a state of darkness and chaos. Religious freedom? The legitimate rights and interests of citizens? They are all tricks for covering up sin. Why put up such an impenetrable obstacle to the work of God? Why employ various tricks to deceive God's folk? Where is the true freedom and legitimate rights and interests? Where is the fairness? Where is the comfort? Where is the warmth? Why use deceitful schemes to trick God's people? Why use force to suppress the coming of God? Why not allow God to freely roam upon the earth that he created? Why hound God until he has nowhere to rest his head? Almighty God, the Chinese Communist Party is your enemy. They are a group of demons that resist you. God, I feel bitter hatred for the devil Satan. No matter how they torture me, I only choose the truth and to stand on your side. Chief Howe is very unhappy with the results of our interrogation. He said he needs to come over here personally tomorrow. Hey. Good idea. He'll see. He'll see our predicament. This case has been dragging on. Four or five days without progress. Of all the cases I have worked on, interrogating those people scares me the most. They keep on talking about truth and preaching the gospel, and their wills are so strong. They are godized people. It's really hard. I just wonder, you know, these people don't want to be rich, they don't seek wealth, they do their duties 
without pay, give up family and property to preach the gospel. All the suppression and arrests by the party won't stop them from believing in Almighty God. That's a spirit, an admirable one, that we don't have in the Communist Party. Mm. Without the promise of status and high salaries, <laughs> no one would work for the Communist Party. It's our hard luck to have this case. Now, the eyes of the leaders are staring at us. We need to use our minds to find a crack fast. Otherwise, you know, we won't have an answer for Chief Ho. Find a crack? The only crack is the names and phone numbers written down in Han Lu's notebook, which have all been altered. I think we have to give Han Lu some more special treatment. Talk! Damn it, are you gonna talk? Chief. Chief. What are you doing here? Chief, Han Lu won't talk. Han Lu, do you know what consequences of this attitude will be? Never mind going to jail. You might end up paying with your life. This is not a joke. Bring her here. Han Lu, I heard that you're a normal university graduate. And an intellectual, too. How could you believe in God? Honestly speaking, I really feel sorry for you. You are so young. All the glory and wealth, fame and fortune of the world are waiting for you. Why did you have to choose believing in God? If it were not for believing in God, why would you be suffering here? As a human, you should be more practical. Don't believe in that vague stuff. Why don't you believe in the Communist Party? In China, it is the Communist Party that is in power. Whoever has that power is the master and God. Only those who follow and support the party will have livelihood and stay alive. Isn't this the reality? You insist on believing in God under the control of the Communist Party. Isn't that against the Communist Party? The Communist Party is atheist, which is hostile to theism. If you believe in God and follow God in China, where atheism is in power, can the Communist Party allow you to live? Well, don't you understand what this means? Believers of God are those who have no knowledge of and do not believe in science. You're an intellectual. How can you believe in God? What does it say in the textbooks? There is no God in the world. In the Internationale, we sing, there has never been any savior of the world. You went to school for so many years. How can you still believe in God and follow God? Is it some special background? You should just go through the formality without giving up everything when believing in God. Am I right? Am I? Chief Ho, I don't know why you advised me to follow the party. You're telling me there's happiness in following the party? Is that the right path of life? I choose to believe in God because I saw the darkness and evil of the world I longed for the light and hoped to be saved by God. When I read the word of Almighty God, I found that it is all the truth and salvation for mankind. 
I saw it clearly in my heart that God's appearance in the last days is for the salvation of man from corruption and the bondage of sin. It was the word of Almighty God that gave me true faith and a direction for the right path in life, so I accepted the work of God. Believing in God helps me understand some truth and see through many things. All of mankind today advocates evil, lies, violence, and indulges in sinful pleasure. People engage in intrigues, power struggles, and internecine infighting. When God becomes flesh and brings truth to save mankind, he is rejected, resisted, and condemned. The Bible says there will be catastrophe in the last days. Why is that? What is the backdrop of the catastrophe's genesis? It is because human corruption is so deep in its resistance and rejection of God to the point of hopelessness. So God casts down the catastrophe to punish and to destroy this evil and corrupt mankind that is his enemy. Once the catastrophe comes, it is the wrath of God, the disaster of annihilation, the retribution for man's resistance to God. The righteousness and holiness of God completely manifest through the great catastrophe, so I choose to believe in and follow God. It's not wrong. This is the right path of life, the only way for mankind to be saved by God. Han Lu, the Communist Party has long been targeting Christians for arrest and persecution and opposed God since it took power. This is a fact. I don't deny it. But you say God appears and expresses the truth to save mankind. I'm skeptical whether God can really save mankind and bring mankind to good destination. I doubt it. When the Communist Party sees you stand to witness Almighty God's expression of truth to save man, it suppresses and arrests you. It will ban the Church of Almighty God. If the God you believe in is the true God, why can't he ban and destroy the Communist Party? If God really shows his omnipotence and destroys the Communist Party, and also bans all the hostile forces, that'd be a real God. Then I'd believe it. But what I see going on is the Communists driving around in police vehicles, arresting and imprisoning so many of you Christians and your God does not save you. So it's hard for people to see that the God you believe in is the true God. Also, you say that God dominates all things. God is about to cast down catastrophes to destroy and punish this utterly corrupted mankind that is his enemy. Is that possible? I don't think so. I'll only believe it when I see the facts. I cannot believe by just listening to your word. I don't understand it. How can you believe that God's word will be fulfilled and accomplished? What is the basis for that? I don't believe that when the disaster comes, the God you believe in will be there to save you from death. Whether God exists at all is hard to say. Even if God's real, we won't believe it. You die and it's over. Where is this heaven and hell? The Communist Party is only concerned about reality. We don't care if God will punish or destroy us later. As long as we just live and enjoy the moment, that's all we care about. That's all that matters. You dare to say we're going to hell for having resisted God? Are you sure you'll enter the kingdom of heaven? Han Lu, you say that God dominates everything. How does God dominate everything? Tell me. Do you know when the catastrophe will come? God's sovereignty over everything can't be altered by man's will. Recognize it or not, God's creation of all things and his sovereignty over everything are a fact. For thousands of years, we've known that the will of heaven cannot be defied and we've recognized that God's ordination is ineluctable. So people often say, there is a spirit watching over you. 
Man proposes, God disposes. You can't lie to heaven. People also would say, May the thunder of heaven strike me if I break my oath. All this proves the existence and sovereignty of God. In addition, in any country and race, regardless of time and history, there were prophets who predicted the occurrence of future events. And it is surprising that most prophecies turned out to be accurate. That further proves the existence and sovereignty of God. Wise men all over believe in the existence and sovereignty of God based on these facts. Now there are many people who see the scenes of some big disasters. They all shout, the end of the world is coming, the end of the world is here. What does all this mean? Now that the catastrophe is about to happen, many people are having premonitions. No one can guarantee for sure that no catastrophe will happen. As to when the catastrophe will come, and who will be destroyed, and who will survive, that is God's predetermination. It also depends on the individual's choice and the path he walks. The word of God is absolutely clear. Chief Ho, if you are willing to listen, I'll recite some passages of Almighty God's word. What do you think? Then do it. I'll listen to what it's about. Almighty God says, How many creatures are there living and reproducing in the vast expanse of the universe? Following the law of life over and over, adhering to one constant rule. Those who die take with them the stories of the living, and those who are living repeat the same tragic history of those who have died. So man has to ask, why are we born to live, and why do we have to die? Who is in command of this world, and who created this mankind? Was mankind really created by Mother Nature? Is mankind really in control of its own fate? For thousands of years, mankind has asked these questions over and over again. Unfortunately, the more mankind obsesses with these questions, the more he has developed a thirst for science. Science offers brief gratification and temporary enjoyment of the flesh, but it is far from sufficient to free mankind of the solitariness, loneliness, and barely concealed terror and helplessness deep within his soul. Mankind merely uses scientific knowledge that the naked eye can see and the brain can comprehend to anesthetize his heart. Yet such scientific knowledge cannot stop mankind from exploring mysteries, and mankind does not know who is the sovereign of all things in the universe, nor does he know the beginning and future of mankind. Mankind merely lives perforce amidst this law. None can escape it and none can change it, for among all things and in the heavens there is but one from everlasting to everlasting who holds sovereignty over everything. He is the one who has never been beheld by man. He is the one whom mankind has never known. He is the one in whose existence mankind has never believed, yet he is the one who gave breath to mankind's ancestors and gave life to mankind, the one who supplies, nourishes mankind for its existence and guides mankind up to the present day. Moreover, mankind's survival depends on him alone. He holds sovereignty over all things and rules all living beings beneath the universe. He commands the four seasons and calls forth wind, frost, snow, and rain. It is he who brings mankind sunshine and brings the coming of night. It was he who laid out the heavens and earth, gave man mountains, lakes, and rivers, and the living things in them. His deed is everywhere. His power is everywhere. His wisdom is everywhere and his authority is everywhere. Every one of these laws and rules are the embodiment of his actions, and every one of them reveals his wisdom and authority. Who can exempt themselves from his sovereignty, discharge themselves from his designs? All things exist beneath his gaze, and moreover, all things live beneath his sovereignty. His deed and his power leave mankind no choice but to acknowledge the fact that he really does exist. 
and that he holds sovereignty over all things. Who could have said such words? It carries authority. Chief Ho. Well, Han Lu, go on then. Almighty God says, everything that is in this world is fast changing with the Almighty's thoughts under his eyes. Things mankind has never heard of can abruptly arrive, and yet what mankind has always possessed can unknowingly slip away. No one can fathom the Almighty's whereabouts, and further, no one can feel the transcendence and greatness of the Almighty's life power. The heart and spirit of man are held in the hand of God, and all the life of man is beheld in the eyes of God. Regardless of whether or not you believe this, any and all things, whether they are living or whether they are dead, will shift, change, renew, and disappear according to God's thoughts. This is how God rules over all things. It is God alone who knows the fate of a country or nation. And it is God alone who controls the course of this mankind. If mankind wishes to have a good fate, if a country wishes to have a good fate, then man must bow down before God in worship, repent and confess before God, or else the fate and destination of man will unavoidably end in catastrophe. God saves those who love him. Once they return to his kingdom, people on earth will face famines and pestilence, and God's seven bowls, seven plagues, will take effect in succession. Heaven and earth shall pass, but my word shall not. Two thousand years ago, when the Lord Jesus appeared and did his work, he said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Two thousand years later, and now is the closing of the last days, the Lord Jesus has returned. He is the incarnate Almighty God. Having carried out the judgment work of the last days and made a group of overcomers, God's great work has been accomplished, and he will cast down the catastrophe to reward the good and punish the evil. Only by accepting God's work in the last days and being cleansed shall we survive the catastrophe. Now that Almighty God's salvation work is about to finish, the catastrophe will soon descend. The Lord Jesus said, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? If we cling to carnal pleasure, fame, fortune, and status in life, what is the meaning of living? When we lose our lives in the catastrophe, won't everything we've lived for be in vain? How would wise men choose? Would they choose cleansing and salvation through God's work? Or continuing to live in sin and being destroyed? These words you said are quite reasonable. However, no matter how well and good it sounds, we don't believe it. We only believe what we see in front of us. As for what is going to happen next, we don't know and we don't care. For now, the Communist Party gives us money, makes us officials. As long as they put rice in our bowls, we have to listen to them. Speak and work for the Communist Party. Whatever the Communist Party is opposed to, we absolutely will not do. This is our choice and the reality. You understand? Well, An Lu, the words of Almighty God you just recited to me, they sounded quite reasonable and very profound. It was the first time I heard them. But I always feel that Faith must abide by the reality and the national system. It does not allow believers to exist. No matter how correct believing in God is, it does not work in China. You see, now you're under arrest and you have become a prisoner. Did God save you? Who knows how many years you'll be imprisoned and whether you'll get out alive. Why bother with any ending and destination? 
Who's ever seen hell? We've all seen living people suffer, but no one has seen dead people in shackles. From what I see, if you can live life with power and status and rise above the others, that's a life worth living. Hell and heaven, present life and next life, it's just impractical, too vague, too remote, and just not credible. I advise you to be a bit more realistic. You must know that the Communist Party is an atheist party that started from the revolution. The Communist Party is most inimical to God and God's word. The truth that you accept and the path that you walk are hated by the Communist Party. You're a thorn in the side of the Communist Party. Therefore, the Communist Party will severely repress you, punish you, and ban you. In China, you must follow the leadership of the Communist Party when you believe in God, accept the party's united front, join the three-self church, and take the path of love for country and religion. Aside from this, there is no way out. Do you see this now? Chief Ho, you said belief in God needs to be based on reality and aligned with the state system. Is this a valid argument? When you've chosen the right path of life, you should adhere to it regardless of setbacks and failures. This is the only way to truth and a meaningful life. Belief in God puts us on the right path of life, but you want us to accept the party's united front and join the Three Self Church. Where does this come from? You know the Three Self Church is entirely controlled by the Chinese Communist government, and their pastors are appointed by the government. And it's not allowed to teach the truth of the Bible, the way of spiritual life, and the prophecy of Revelation. It's not allowed to talk about loving and obeying God. It is only allowed to talk about making a fortune, glorifying God while benefiting people. Allowed only to talk about obeying those in power. How is this believing in God? Can truth be received like that? Our belief in God is to pursue the truth, shedding our corruption. Becoming a person with the truth and humanity to receive God's salvation and happy destination. If we go by the Communist Party's requirements to follow the three selves love for country and church, then we won't be able to receive the truth and shed our corruption. How will we receive the salvation of God then? So, the Communist Party wants to control those who believe in God, to make us believe according to the requirements of the party. This is unacceptable. This is interfering with religious freedom, a soft kill of souls. Wasn't what I said the truth? Han Lu, how can you speak like this? We care about your well-being. The Communist Party is a satanic regime that detests and resists God most. The Communist Party condemned Christianity as a cult, the Bible and books of God's word as cultist publications. Many gift Bibles from abroad were thrown into the sea. Countless Bibles in the hands of Christians were confiscated and destroyed. Do you not admit that this is all true? No one dares to deny this is a fact. You Communist Party officials even installed pastors in the religious community and intervened in church affairs. It is so unreasonable. Those who believe in God only want to pursue the truth, live like a true man, and lead a meaningful life. You wouldn't even let them go. You make trouble for those who believe in God and for the church, create rumors against it, trump up charges against innocent believers of God and send them to prison and stop at nothing in utterly banning the church. That's devoid of human decency, don't you think? That's enough. You think I want to persecute you who believe in God? It's the Communist Party's policy. Secret documents from the Central Committee require all levels of government to do so. 
This is not in my hands. I know those of you who believe in God don't engage in politics or commit crime. But the way you believe in God and spread the word of Almighty God and bear witness for Almighty God creates too much impact in China. Your Church of Almighty God has brought in a lot of people from various denominations with increasing numbers. So the Communist Party has to severely suppress you. You see, why doesn't the Communist Party crack down on the Three Self Church? Because the Three Self Church is obedient and follows orders. Not like you, the way you spread the gospel and witness for God. So, the Communist Party turns a blind eye on them. You mean you don't know this? When the Communist Party wants to suppress and arrest you, will it lack pretexts and reasons? It needs to fabricate some facts and condemn you as a cult organization so that the suppression can be justified. The Communist Party is louder than you. Most people listen to the Communist Party. That's why you have to suffer these pains and grievances. The party trumps up some phony cases against you, condemns you through its media mouthpiece, and even pays off some Western media outlets to attack your church. This is all fact. Your indignation and opposition are useless. The Communist Party must do so in order to ban the Church. Who told you to disobey the Communist Party? It's impossible to believe in God and preach the Gospel in a country ruled by the Communist Party. Whoever insists on spreading the Gospel will be terminated. Do you know how many Christians have suffered in prison and died there? Do you know how many Christians have been killed, their families shattered? No one can defy the Communist Party. If you continue believing in God and spreading the gospel, then you will be imprisoned and executed. Do I make myself clear? Your church is a headache for the central leadership. The party sees you as enemy number one. It will fight against you until you are eradicated. Do you know how much manpower and money the Communist Party has mobilized to suppress the Church of Almighty God? The price is too high. Don't you see what's going on? You are still spreading the gospel and the word of Almighty God everywhere. It's like pointing a gun at your head. Are you stupid? This is how we should take care of you. If you just remain silent, no one will bother you. To the Chinese Communist Party, believers are the enemy. It can't wait to kill them all. Do you really think you can ban God's salvation work for mankind? When the Lord Jesus came to redeem man, wasn't he crucified by the religious community in coalition with the authorities? They were wrong to think that they had succeeded and that the redemptive work of the Lord Jesus had failed. But what was unexpected was that on the cross the Lord Jesus said, it is finished. In other words, God's redemptive work was accomplished by the crucifixion of the Lord Jesus. What does this mean? God's wisdom was exercised based on Satan's schemes. The redemptive gospel of the Lord Jesus has been spread all over. This is a fact. The Chinese Communist government has been suppressing and persecuting the Church of Almighty God. It even boasted, troops will stay till the ban is done. But what is the outcome? Not only has the Church of Almighty God not been banned, it is thriving instead. Do you know why this is? It is God's authority, God's power. 
Whatever God wants to accomplish cannot be obstructed by any nation or any force. Why do we steadfastly believe in God, spread the gospel, and witness for God? Do you know why? This era is about to end. The catastrophe is about to come. Only those who have accepted the work of Almighty God and have received cleansing can receive the salvation and escape catastrophe. How can we not spread the gospel like this? If we don't do this, many will not return to God and perish in the catastrophe. Many souls will end up in hell for punishment. For the sake of these souls, can we sit idly at home for fleshly comfort? Should we just shamefully live in fear of the government's arrests and persecution? If so, our conscience will not be at peace. Many Christians take the risk of going to prison and losing their lives in order to spread the gospel and witness for God. What kind of spirit is this? Can you comprehend it? Yet you treat the good people who believe in God as the country's most wanted. I just don't understand it. What good will that do, and how will that provide for the stability of the state's power? Throughout history, those nations and races that frantically resisted and opposed God were destroyed by God. This is all true. Just as Almighty God says, no country or power can stand in the way of what God wishes to achieve. Those that obstruct God's work, resist the word of God, disturb and impair the plan of God, shall ultimately be punished by God. God's righteous disposition is unoffendable. All those who resist God must suffer the punishment of God. Enough! Ungrateful! Such a God-eyed person. You're hopeless. Ah! Tight lips? How dare you not speak? Take her away. I didn't expect this rather young and inexperienced Han Lu to be capable of such insightful words. She has thoroughly read the book The Word Appears in the Flesh. She is godized. This young person can see things in life so clearly. That is not a simple feat. Hmm. Could it really be true that Almighty God's word is so powerful? Yes, Chief. This Han Lu is really not easy. No matter what you said to her, she was able to retort so eloquently. The words she spoke were so powerful. We've never heard anything like that. You don't say, Chief. Those words make pretty good sense. How can they speak to things so clearly? I've really got to give it to these people. After days of interrogation, not only is she not caved, she is even more animated. I really didn't think she had that much going on. This Han Lu, we need to work on her some more. Provincial department leaders are paying attention to this case. If need be, let Captain Zhao Ping of the Criminal Police Division join you. One way or another, we need to pry open her mouth. Hmm. This is the only way to roll up the Church of Almighty God's key members. Get the ringleader first, then the bandits. Right, Chief. Oh, Lao Ma. I heard Han Lu has an old mother at home. Yeah, right. Go over to Han Lu's home. Okay. Have a nice talk with her mother.
Yes, sir. I heard you have quite some backbone. You don't even fear death. But now you're in my hands. I'm going to make you wish you were dead. See this? This is all waiting for you. I'm going to let you enjoy them one by one. How about it? If you don't want the pain, do as you are told. To extort a confession by torture from a believer of God. Doesn't that bother your conscience at all? Don't you understand that good begets good and evil begets evil? Aren't you afraid of divine retribution? Divine retribution? Uh. I'd like to see what it looks like. <laughs> Hear me, my patience is running out. If you're smart, then level with me. Say it. Your church's money, where is it? Who are your leaders? MZ, what does it mean? Say it. Damn it! Let me see how long you can hold out. Let her taste the lake split. Listen. It's not too late. Talk now. that. Does it feel good? If you don't level with me, I'll waste you! You won't understand who you are dealing with. On the chair! <sighs> if you still don't talk, you are going to feel it. Pretty soon, you're going to feel like you're suffocating. Like your brain is going to explode. Your eyeballs are going to pop out of your head. <laughs> Scared? Well, then just start talking. In a moment, <laughs> You are going to wish you were dead. Dead meat. I tell you, who are in hell when you're here? You're not walking out of here alive if you don't tell me everything. God. 
Whether I am dead or alive, I look up and give myself to you. I'd rather die than submit to Satan. Is it? You sobered up? Talk, or I'll waste you. What are we going to do next? I didn't expect this Han Lu would be this tough. When prisoners are in my hands, most will spill their guts before the third round. How can she be so tough? Facing death so calmly is no simple feat. These god-eyed people are really tough. We've learned a lesson this time. It is amazing how God's word makes these people so... Staunch and loyal. It is more powerful than Marx and Lenin's. Marx and Lenin's words turned into farts and ended up in the museum. Who the hell still believes in them? But I do see more and more people believing in the word of Almighty God. And no one believes in Marx and Lenin. God, I see your wonderful deeds. It is you who has been protecting me, watching over me. God, I offer my thanks and praises to you. Han Lu, look. You are so young, and you are so stubborn. You are going through all this pain just because of your belief. Even your mother. You abandon her to suffer at home alone. I really don't know how you think. How is she doing? How is your mom? Yesterday, we went to your home. When she heard of your arrest, she fell ill. Whenever she heard your name, she cried. She is terrified about your suffering in jail. She hopes you can go home soon. She's all by herself and so old, with no one to help her. Oh, it's really sad. Oh, yes, your mother? has something to tell you. Take a look. Zhao Lua, when can you come back? Mom misses you. Zhao Lua, your dad left us early. These years, we have been depending on no one but each other. When you are away, how is mom going to live? I am old. My health is poor. I don't have much time left. <laughs> if you get thrown into prison, I'll never ever be able to see you again. <laughs> When you finally get out, you'll only be able to visit my grave. 
us to let you go. She was in tears, begging to see you. It was so sad. If we let her see you, what you look like now, she'll be even worse. So, we did not bring her along. We do want to let you go, but you refuse to tell us everything. What can we do? Listen, it's all up to you now. You can stay here, or you can go home. I suppose you cannot bear to see your mother suffer at home, right? Ugh, your old mother is so sad. If I were you, I couldn't let my mother suffer like that. Filial piety and loyalty don't go hand in hand. The decision is yours to make today. If you choose to be loyal, I do not need to tell you what will happen to you. And I'm afraid you won't be able to see your mom one last time or ever again. But if you are a filial daughter, then you can reunite with your mom immediately. When you go back, I can find a good job for you. I mean it. Think it over carefully. Write down everything you know. Do it for your mom's sake. All right, let's watch it again. Zhao Lua, when can you come back? I think Han Lu is ready to tell us this time. Our success all depends on this move. I think this time it's going to work. Look at how the old woman pretended to be sick. Oh, Captain Ma, I hope so. As soon as you said Han Lu would never get out if she didn't confess, the old woman was scared to death. She had no choice but to play along. <laughs> she was easy to manipulate because she is old. It has nothing to do with old age. For common citizens, how many of them dare to say no? When they see us in uniform speak loudly, they are scared stiff. They don't even dare to breathe. Well, after she confesses this time, we will be able to answer Chief Ho's demand. What is there to think about? Just right. Can you bear to see your mother suffer? If you go to prison, no one will look after her. How is she going to live? Lu, we are not bluffing. If you don't level with us, you'll be locked up for life. You think it over carefully. If you go to prison, 
you won't see your mother again. Almighty God, the police are now using my family bonds to tempt me into betraying you. This is the guile of Satan. God, I will leave everything about my mother in your hands. I am willing to look upon you and entrust you with everything. What are you thinking? Write down everything you know now. Lu, don't say that we haven't forewarned you. When you distrust the Communist Party, but swear loyalty to God, you are the enemy of the party. The Communist Party will not spare you. You'll be sent to prison for a decade or so. You won't be released until you've been properly reformed. Han Lu, even if you don't think about yourself, think about your mother. Don't you know the party hates believers of God the most? The Communist Party will not spare those who believe in God. When you are in prison, your mother's pension and medical insurance will all be canceled. What is she going to live on? When your mother has no one to care for her, that will be your fault. Come to your senses. My belief in God is not a crime. You persecute not only me, but my family, too. You are depriving us of our right to live. I understand it. Religious freedom does not exist in China. And those who believe in God are deprived of right to life. Even related non-believers are punished as well. This is really one person's belief, endangering a whole family. Why does the Communist Party hate God and resist Him so much? Is it because you so hate the many truths expressed by God, His power and righteousness? Is it perhaps because you hate God's salvation for mankind as much as you do? Mankind was created by God. It is just and proper that God comes and brings salvation. Why is the Communist Party so obsessed with controlling and dominating mankind? The Communist Party is fighting with God over mankind. Isn't this behavior perverse and offensive to heaven? It is said. All injustice ends in perdition. God's disposition is unoffendable. Almighty God says, any person who defies the work of God shall be sent to hell. Any country that defies the work of God shall be destroyed. Any nation that rises up to oppose the work of God shall be wiped from this earth and shall cease to exist. The Chinese Communist Party resists and acts against God and cruelly persecutes Christians. Their hands are soaked in blood. What's in store for them is God's righteous punishment. Enough! You, God-eyes person, deserve to die. You don't deserve life. Sending you to prison exalts you. How can people like you exist in China? People like you 
should relocate and live in heaven. <laughs> 